Hello and welcome to another quick update video. This is the AMC 325 serial number 1384 that's currently in for repair. I've swapped all the boards back in. This is uh, its original. You can see it says 1384 there and if it'll focus you can see that that says 1384 as well. Well, it won't focus but... So we went ahead and I put the old boards back in. I uh, did some probing around uh, on the encoder the encoder decoder I guess and it's this um, we got a little hex inverter here that the encoder signal comes through gets signal condition actually goes through a pi filter um, gets signal condition then goes into a hex inverter it makes its way over to this cable which was the one that happened to have that pinch in it, it was kind of caught between here and there it's supposed to be actually underneath here like that so it can't get pinched so we'll fix that but um, it makes its way over here to this top board and then it picks up this switch. This is the AB switch um, that allows you to by flipping that and swapping a phase on the uh, on the motor here you can make forward become reverse and vice versa reverse could become forward. Um, so if it's um, belt drive you want them running in forward and I think if it's the if you have a uh, uh, gearbox driven force you need it to be in reverse because there's an extra jack shaft in there that inverts it but anyways regardless of that um yeah forwards reverse and reverses forward then uh you just flip that switch but i think that might have been the problem uh i think that switch has just gotten bad because i um i had flipped it and now it all works uh so yeah after it gets through there that flips the encoder signal and they run the actual encoder signal up there and it comes back down and then it goes through and gets processed through some uh, deep flip flops to do some clock division and calculate out. Uses these um, tell it how much to divide by to generate the mileage pulse, which tells you how many miles you've traveled or kilometers. You can adjust the settings here for however many encoder counts it takes to divide down to the pulses you need for your tachometer and or um, mileage indicator. But uh, yeah, I uh, I can't reproduce the problem. I, I did probe on the chips there and all the inputs and outputs look fine. I can't find anything wrong with it now and and now it it, uh, it fixed itself. I'm I, I'm thinking it was the switch because I when I hooked this up I accidentally flipped it and then I flipped it back and since I've done that uh, I think that cleaned it and that was all that was wrong. So if I actually turn this back on here give her a little throttle she spins up real smooth so I uh... there's another one of those things like one of these days we'll get a nice board level tear down where we go in and find, troubleshoot it and find it's a chip that's died and we go in there and fix it and it'll be a really cool video but it still hasn't happened I um... yeah I uh... somehow fixed it I, I think it was just that switch had a little gunk in it and yeah she's nice and smooth now it works fine so I played with it I can't I've wiggled cables I've done all kinds of stuff I've moved things around I can't get it to to work or not break again I mean I can flip the switch so I flipped it over there and if I try to tell it to go then obviously it'll have issues right which was kind of like what it was doing before if i flip it back it'll take off here watch <laughs> so i'm i'm thinking it was the switch um yeah it was just uh just random i have to keep that in mind just to toggle that a few times and if uh there's an encoder problem and see if it doesn't fix it but uh yeah uh i think this one's fixed i'm gonna go ahead and Put it back together. I gotta mount it. The heat sink's not attached. It's still off from when I did it, just to keep the goop from heat sink compound. So I'll clean that off. Put new goop on there. There, heat sink compound on there, and um, put it all back together. But yeah, I think uh, this guy is done. And then uh, once it's all reassembled, to do a final test again and make sure everything still works. And, but I think this one's done and ready to ship it back. Thanks for watching.